So how important is training to an actor? Uh, let me let me start off by first saying that I am personally not trained. I'm not a trained actor. Um, I could consider myself being a trained dancer, but more than anything, I guess I'm I'm passionate in all these terms. So a passionate dancer and a passionate actor. So when you say training, I think for me it's been um, do a film watch yourself on screen, figure out the mistakes you've made and then go back and probably not make the same mistakes again. It's really not on the textbooks. I don't think art is ever can, ever can be on textbooks. Uh, it's, it's more experiential. You do it, you learn from it. So I guess that's the kind of training I've had as an actor. Is theatre, is a background in theatre or any kind of performance important for an actor? I would say yes. I would say it is an absolute plus point because when you know performance, when you know how to grab the attention of an audience, it's the biggest advantage you can have as an actor. If you look at any good actor, any good actor you may consider uh, to say, oh, you know what, he's fantastic. He needs to have the ability to entertain, to convince you and to communicate to you. And I think that comes from performance. So when you can convince people one on one on a stage, when you stand on a stage and there's an audience in front of you, I mean, you can convince and communicate your intent or what you're trying to say. Uh, it is definitely much more harder than doing it on a camera with cuts and the edits and all of the gimmicks that come with cinematography or with the power that camera has or cinema has. So I would say stage presence uh, equals screen presence. So is there a right attitude or not? Uh, well. If you, if you call patience attitude, I would say yes. There's a lot of patience involved. You need to wait it out. It's not going to come to you easy. Uh, one thing that I keep telling people is, uh, people are to you as you are to them, right? So uh, if you draw a line, they're definitely not going to overstep it. Because yes, you need patience. Yes, you need to be politically correct sometimes, at least in front of the media. Uh, yes, you need to be diplomatic in your dealings in terms of money, uh, monetary things, which is which is like the biggest problem ever for an actor, let me tell you. It's not about acting, it's about all the other things that you do. It's about dealing with people. It's about, it's about the way you behave. Um, it's about the way you project yourself largely. So yes, there is an attitude. I do not, I'm probably nobody to come and tell you that this is the right attitude. But I will stress upon immensely that do anything you do on your own terms. So I'm going to tell you this quickly with the personal experience that I had. I started out, I came to the industry, I think the first time I had a meeting on the capacity of an actor was when I was 18. But I remember that there was this guy who came, I still have not met him, but there was this guy who came and who made me sit next to him after some time. And he behaved in the worst form ever. And uh, that, that, at, at that age, at that time, I was so naive that I didn't know how to react. And I remember sitting there and crying. I still sat there for five minutes. I remember sitting there and crying. And I was like, well, um, I, I mean, of course, I got up and walked away and I never did the film, obviously. But uh, that was an incident that I vowed that it will never happen. I cannot be helpless in a situation like this. So these are experiences that constantly came my way. And I learned, I learned how to face them at every single stage. Uh, there was this Malayalam film where I had again a very bad experience and post which I never did any Malayalam films. These are experiences that especially as a woman actor in the South Indian film industry, constantly you will face. And being helpless was never an option and I don't think it should be yours. When it comes to preparation for your first project, I guess the most important thing is uh, level-headedness. Uh, you cannot be extremely overtly sweet and nice. You definitely can't be naive. You need to know, you need to have a mental stability in order to say yes and no correctly. So I would say that be prepared, be mentally stable. Uh, know that you probably have a lot, lot, lot to learn in terms of people management. And very importantly, do remember that it's a lot of luck. 
it's the right place right time right opportunity The first time I remember being on stage was when I was a little kid. So I've loved the stage since then, and uh, uh, the the passion for the stage, the passion to be a performer, remained. So to say, the center, the snowshoe of all eyes, if that's the word I have to use. Uh, yes, the limelight was very, very, very tempting. It always is. So as you move on, you also realize that you know what? It's not all about that, and. Uh, and it's not as glamorous as as it seems patient spoiled us and all that but i do not agree uh college again christ college was another institution that really encouraged encouraged culture and arts so in a way i was constantly encouraged to be a performer and today when i go back they'd say that oh you know what we knew you'd not sit in some corporate office so i guess that's how it was for me i guess it's the journey has been pretty interesting this far it's been a lot of things it's been dance it's been music uh, there was a time i ran away from home yeah for 8 months so yes and rebellious more to say very rebellious so as a creative person as a person who is a freelancer who probably never gets a salary check every month you're always going to have highs and lows i think even as a business person i think you're going to have your highs and lows you're going to have times when you're really really going to be at the at like successful in terms of money in terms of work everything and you're going to have your lows it's part and parcel of the game having said that especially as an actor i think you face a lot of insecurities so yes so there was this entire time right after lucia when i was doing this film called rate and right after everyone touted rate to be the biggest blockbuster uh, they couldn't people once the film was ready people said that you know what you've done well uh, what a future and all of that and it did nothing to me it didn't give me work it didn't give me my money uh that was my that was my lowest as far as i can remember that was a time when i was especially because i had expectations especially because i had expectations ki you know what this might change this might turn things around and uh, that boomerang right back and uh, i remember that was my lowest and i did end up making a few wrong decisions not once that i regret take two films which i've still released uh, are part of my filmography I don't have regrets but yes I wish it were different. You will have to uh, really really wait it out patiently and be smart with the value that you attach to your work and the kind of quality you provide. Ultimately I think uh, for me what excites me the most is characters. I mean the roles that I get to play. So even in Diavre I played a pregnant woman. I remember doing this scene which is probably one of my best scenes at least as a performer. I felt so good after doing it where I had to just walk down the road and kind of faint and fall for the lack of food and for the lack of care that a pregnant woman would have. It seemed like a story that most rural women a lot of rural women would face and uh, it it seemed it seemed very interesting to kind of dwell and explore what the what the character would be going through in that situation. Uh, so I did have my fun. It, at every choice that i made i made sure that the characters are something that interested me i have compromised with uh, with the quality of the script so to say overall in terms of commercial cinema yes i have done that but uh, not in terms of my character rate was interesting marathi 800 was interesting upendra mate was interesting so these are commercial cinema where i have had my fun with characters so it's going to be production next and i think uh, I think in terms of art cinema as an actor as a director as a producer the world is like a huge playground you can just choose the game you want to play